Hi party babes! Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on how to make a DIY fringe backdrop. Um, these are perfect for like kids birthdays, just backdrops in general. You can add balloons to it like I did here, you can just leave the fringe by itself. So first we're going to start off with tablecloths. I prefer this method to streamers because it's more durable. So you can use as many colors as you want, but I went with seven because I was making a rainbow backdrop. So you're going to want to take all the tablecloths, unfold them partially, place them on your mat, and use the rotary cutter to cut one and a half inch strips in all the colors that you've selected. I like this weighted ruler I got from Cricut. I will link the same one on Amazon below. Um, I also got this Fiskars rotary cutter, and this is a game changer, you guys. So you can always use scissors, um, and you don't even need a ruler. You can just kind of freehand it with scissors, but if you get these tools, it makes it so, so much easier. Next, I picked up this deer block um, mesh covering. Everybody uses this, and so I thought I would pick it up when I tried this method first, but then I found that it was way too small, and I just didn't like it, so I went back to Home Depot, and I got this mesh fencing, and I love it. So I highly recommend this over the deer block. Again, I'll link it below. It's from Home Depot. Um, it's a lot more sturdy, and the, you'll see that the squares are a lot larger, so it's easier to try to put your fingers through when you're trying to tie on the tablecloth strips. So that's what I was finding the problem with the deer meshes. It was way too small, so it was taking a lot of time. So then you're just going to put up your backdrop stand or measure out how large you want your backdrop to be and then cut your mesh. Right now we're just gonna cut it and then put it on the backdrop stand using zip ties because I think it's easier to construct it when the mesh is upright and like placed where it's gonna be so you can see how it's coming together. We're gonna start taking our strips and placing them one by one on the backdrop. enjoyed this rainbow backdrop tutorial. I also matched a whole bunch of um, cute little rainbow Amazon products. Um, I'll link all that stuff in the description box and I'll link to the video that I did using the twine garland method. Um, but I really prefer this one and this is what one I will be using from here on out. So I highly suggest you guys give it a try and make sure to tag me on Instagram at miss.eventplanner, hashtag miss event planner if you want to show me what you guys did.